Why couldn't that man think it was with him? Why do we have to wait around here? It doesn't really matter as long as we find Billy. <sighs> what? Texts from my dad. Oh my God. Text him back right away. Oh. Tell him we. Tell him you have a spot in Chicago. What? He knows I'm in Myanmar. What? He couldn't. Oh, God. He says he's going to fly here. Finding Billy, I am not gonna let my dad or someone that he hires charge in here and mess this up. There's no note from Tank, there's no sign of a struggle. You call the guard and you handle the search for Billy, all right? I'm going to the airport to go after Victoria. <clears throat> hey, how are you? Right. Escape. Where'd you find him? Caught him on the corner. Do that one more time, and you won't be of value to me anymore. You got that? Mm-hmm. It's Victoria. Hey, actually, get you him know out what? of here now. Billy, Billy, please, come on. Ah, all right, fine. Are you all right, Dad? I, listen, I'm really sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to worry you. For heaven's sake, girl, why did you go to such a dangerous place? Look, it was the last place that there was a credible sighting of Billy. Well, you didn't see him or heard from him, have you? No. Why did you go alone? Uh, actually, Jill's with me. Well, that's very comforting to know. <sighs> Look, Dad, we both realize now that this was an incredibly stupid thing to do. I'm glad you realize it. I'm on the way to get you, all right? No, Dad, uh, don't fly here. Uh, actually... We haven't been able to find anything at all, so we're leaving. Hi, Victor. Hi. Um, I'm really sorry that you were concerned. It's just that we both thought this was worth a shot. I'm glad you didn't allow Victoria to do this on her own. No, no, no. And I will definitely take care of her, I promise you. Dad, hey, uh, we'll be home soon, okay? On the next flight? Um... Actually, we thought we'd stop off in Thailand for a few days and do some, you know, some um, some sightseeing and, you know, some shopping. But you'll be in touch, right? Yes, Dad. I will keep in touch. Thank you so much for being concerned about me. I always will, but please don't do this kind of thing again. Thailand in case it takes us longer to get Billy out of here. No, that was really, really good. Yeah, that'll buy us a couple of days. I hope you never know with Victor. That's true, that's true. Just a few more minutes, we're gonna see Billy. Okay. Victoria was just checking in. Good. She told me she went to New Mexico to visit that Sam fellow. She's going to be longer than she thought. Next time she calls, tell her I said hi. Next time she calls, you won't be anywhere near here. You got it? And I do not want a repeat performance of this escape attempt. Do whatever you have to do. We're all alone in this deserted area. Are we insane? The guy had Billy's money clip, which proves that he's seen him or talked to him. Yeah, I want to find him as much as you do, but I get a really bad feeling about this. Come on, let's get out. Where's Billy? All right, take you to him now. No, 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 no. We're going to stay here. You bring him to us. He's too dangerous. Okay, well, then call him so I can talk to him first. That's not the way it works. Let's work that way now. We're leaving. You're not going anywhere except oh. with me. Oh. He must have been pretty ticked when he kicked this door in. Yeah, well, that's Victor in a good mood. Lucky. Seeing this gave you time to come up with an escape story. You saved my job. Hey, 
consider it payback for letting me get to the hospital to see my kid. Sorry to hit you so hard. Yeah, man. I had to make it look good. Say, would you let me return the favor? Knock you out so I can get the hell out of here? Wish I could, Billy. Probably couldn't do it anyway. So, any news on where I'm going to be exiled to? You don't know where Billy is, do you? I know you, a rich American. Yeah, we have enough money to put you in a world of hurt if you don't let us go. You're coming with me. Your relatives will pay. Are you going to kill us? No. Worse. Jail for a very long time. And how are you going to do that? With this. Drugs. Police are already on their way. Come with me or they find you with this. Billy was arrested for drugs. And you had Billy's money, but you did the same thing to him, didn't you? Where is my son? Gone. As you will be too, if you don't do as I say. Gone where? Shut up! Move! Both of you! Don't try anything stupid. We're going. We're going. Oh my God! Are you alright? All right, let's get out of here. No, but wait, he might know something about Billy. No, 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 the whole thing's probably a scam anyway. Right, listen, we don't know who we can trust. Let's go. Come on. Right, come on. Oh, no. Careful, careful. Still didn't answer me. Your final destination? Sorry. No clue. What do you think the chances are that Victor's gonna take me to Tahiti? <laughs> Not good, huh? Mm. You know, he really has an SOB. I just really want to see you suffer. Personally, I think in a past life he headed up the Salem witch trials. Probably lobbed off a few heads in the French Revolution, too. Look, any guy who'd do what you did to see a sick kid, stand up in my book. It's a shame Mr. Newman can't see that. <sighs> I blew any chance of that ever happening. What'd you do, Billy? messed up. I messed up bad, and Victor's never gonna stop letting me suffer for it. After we lost Lucy, I felt like every time Victoria looked at me, she blamed me. Did she say that? Oh, she said The way she looked, how sad she was, I mean, that was worse than the words, you know? So I, uh, I cut and ran, man. Told myself she'd be better without me. Man, I've been there. All this happened because I took off. If I just stayed here and dealt with my own crap, I'd be here for when Dilly got sick. Victoria would know I never stopped loving her. You know, I can't even blame her for turning to some other guy. Sam, the guy Victor was talking about? The one she's visiting? Just hope she's happy. And that she has a good time on her birthday. When's that? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Why are you even here? It follows you. How? Nobody knew where we were going. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. I, uh, you know, you had to get a visa, so, um, thank you. Do you think Billy's dead? Secrets. In my line of work, I've seen a lot of people try to cover them up. How does it usually work out? Truth always comes out in the end. Well, I hope it does. And soon. The 
want me to repair that door, Mr. Dillon? Well, oh, thank you, Tank. That won't be necessary. Billy will be on a flight tomorrow. Headed where? Genoa City to New York. New York, New Delhi. India. Just couldn't wait until the morning. Here for your trouble. What is it you need? Have you found out anything else about my son or where he is? Uh, you know, I wish I had better news for you, but there's no record of this man being released from prison and, as before, no record of his leaving the country. Then where is he? Well, sadly, many people disappear without a trace. Because they're dead. Thank you for your help. There's something I should tell you guys. I don't believe Billy's dead. Where is he? Where, where? Look, it's almost morning. We should get to the airport and get the first flight out of here, okay? I'm not leaving if Billy is still here. You understand? No, yes. Listen, listen, like, it's not safe to stay. After what happened tonight, we should go, okay? <clears throat> Joe, what should we do? I don't know. I don't know what we should do, but we're not giving up. We're not giving up, okay? You know what? The State Department will work through them. Catherine's got a lot of connections. We will find answers. Right, listen, there's no proof that Billy is dead. Yeah, there's no proof that he's alive. Uh, he wouldn't want you risking your life. Okay, to find, find him like this. It's too dangerous. Let's just go. Okay. All right, we'll go home. I made arrangements for you to go to a retreat. A monastery. Drafty building, guys in robes, chanting. Yeah, a lot of chanting. It's what I had to do during a particularly difficult time in my life. I found the experience very renewing. Yeah, I can be renewed right here. Mm -hmm. This ain't the right surrounding, Billy. You love it. Ideal place to just reflect upon your life. No phones. No television, no internet, no electricity. <laughs>